trigonometric equations. I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll learn the technique. I'll give you the steps and partial solution. You should be in a position to write down the final solution. Question here is solve the following trigonometric equations for theta equals belongs to real numbers. That means we're looking for general solution, right? That is important, general solution. Now the question is 2 cos square theta equals to cos theta. This is the first one. 2 cos square theta equals to 3 sine theta is the second one. Let us see how to solve. One, don't make the mistake of cancelling out one of these cos thetas or dividing by cos theta, right? In that case, you get 2 cos theta equals to 1. In that case, you will lose some solutions, right? So, we'll soon realize why that is a mistake. The strategy is bring them to one side. So, we have 2 cos square theta minus cos theta equals to 0. Now factor, so you have cos theta and here we get 2 cos theta minus 1 equals to 0. Now this factor gives you possible sets of solution. One is cos theta equals to 0, right? So there are a couple of cases. One is cos theta equals to 0. The other one is 2 cos theta equals to 1. Then this factor will be 0. Or let me write 2 cos theta minus 1 equals to 0. So these are two possible factors and therefore two sets of solutions. Now when is cos theta equals to 0? So now you can think about uh, like this. Let me just make a sketch here and remind you how the cos function is. Cos function basically is kind of uh, like this. Let me start from the positive side. It is like this, right? So it is kind of like this. So it has two zeros and the zeros are at pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. Correct? So that is one part. So from here we get theta equals to either pi by 2 or it is 3 pi by 2, right? We need to give <coughs> we need to give general solutions we know the period for cos theta is 2 pi so we can write this as plus 2 k pi right and this also is plus 2 k pi so these are possible solutions from the first factor where of course k belongs to set of integers right so that is there from the second equation we can say this is equal to 0 when cos theta is equals to half now, when is cos theta equals to half? For that, let's look into our special triangle, which is 30, 60, 90. I hope you remember. So, where this side is 1, 2, and square root of 3. And the angle for us is indeed pi by 3. So, for pi by 3, cos theta is half. Now, since it is positive half, it could be in quadrant. 1 or in quadrant 4, correct? Now, cost rule says that, let me write down the cost rule here, C-A-S-T, right? So, that means, positive means it could be in these two quadrants. So, we're looking for pi by 3 in these two quadrants or the solution is kind of like this, right? So, that gives us the solution, right? So, from here, we can say that theta is equals to either pi by 3 right and this much is 5 pi by 3 3 here 3 here one less 5 pi by 3 correct so this portion is 5 pi by 3 this portion is pi by 3 correct plus 2k pi where you know k belongs to integers so that is how you're going to solve it and this is this is what you should be doing right now follow these steps and do the second question second question is a little harder since you do not have one variable we have cos and sine now what you should do is you can write cos square theta in terms of sine theta right i hope you remember how are they related we know cos square theta plus sine square theta equals to one that means cos square theta is 1 minus sine square theta. So what we are going to do here is we'll replace cos square theta by 1 minus sine square theta. 
and bring my 3 theta to left. So we have minus 3 sine theta equals to 0. With that, we get one quadratic equation and that is only in sine. Do you see that? So what we have here is, let's expand. So we get 2 minus 2 sine square theta minus 3 sine theta equals to 0. Let's rearrange, take it to the other side. I like to see this as a positive coefficient. So we have 2 sine square theta plus 3 sine theta and this becomes minus 2 for me equals to 0. Now we need to factor it. For factoring we need product of minus 4, right? So p times q should be minus 4 and their sum should be 3. So of course we have, so we can write 3 theta as plus 4 minus 1. So we can write this as 2 sine square theta plus 4 sine theta minus sine theta minus 2 equals to 0. Now we can do factoring, correct? So this is interesting question, kind of complicated. So I thought let me just complete it. So we can take 2 sine theta common. So we have 2 sine theta common. We're left with sine theta here and minus 2 there. In this, we can take minus common, so we get sine theta and, sorry, this is plus, right? This is also plus 2 equals to 0. Now we can take sine theta plus 2 common. And we are left with 2 sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. This also gives us two sets of solution. One of the solution for us is that sine theta equals to minus 2. Well, that is never possible since you know the range of sine theta is just between plus and minus 1. So this is no solution for us. The other one, however, gives us a solution which is sine theta equals to half, right? If sine theta is half, then this term will be 0. Now when is sine theta half? If you look into this triangle, so when theta is pi by 6, sine theta is half, opposite over hypotenuse. So we are looking for acute angle pi by 6. But remember, sine theta is actually half in two quadrants. Plus, right, positive value, sine is positive in two quadrants, quadrant 1 and quadrant 2, right? So we have two solutions. These are the two solutions which gives us two angles. One of course is pi by 6, the other one is 5 pi by 6. So we have two solutions here. The first one I wrote pi by 6. The second one is 5 pi by 6. So that is the value theta can have. And general solution means you have to add 2k pi, right? So let me add it in different ink so that you don't forget. 2k pi plus 2k pi where k belongs to set of integers. So that is how you should be solving it. I hope it really helps. This is a very good question. Go through this video, understand the strategy, how you can write trigonometric equation as a quadratic equation and then find solution. Thank you.